You see this woman right here? You recognize her? That's my mom. And she's a pretty darn incredible woman. This was on my graduation day, 1997. I look kind of like a dork, but my mom looks great. I have so much love for all of the mothers around the world, and I admire what you do for your families and the sacrifices you make to raise your children into good humans. My mom in particular essentially raised four of us on her own as she worked a full-time job and went to school at night to get a degree so that she could better our lives. All of this while being at every single one of our school events throughout our entire school career. She was always there in the bleachers, cheering us on, helping us out with our homework after school. And at the time, I don't know if I really appreciated it because I figured, oh, that's just what moms do. They're just always there. But as an adult now, looking back, I'm like, wow, mom, how did you pull it off? How did you do that? She's been my hero for as long as I can remember. She's been my number one cheerleader. She has supported me through so many different life events and consoled me during many sad moments and, and breakups. And she's always there for some of the biggest moments in my life as well. And not just my life, but my two brothers and my sister. Donna Jo Bear right there. She's an incredible woman and I'm so glad that I've been able to share a bit of her life with you on YouTube. And instead of me just talking about my mom, you've all heard my tributes to my mom through my videos. I thought, let's talk to my mom about what it was like to be a mother, a single mother of four kids. Come on, mama. Answer the Skype call. There we go. Um, can we see your face? Yeah, I know. I'm still setting up. There's my flowers. I was trying to get them in the picture. Oh, but... those flowers look nice. Testing one, two, three. Okay, yeah, that sounds pretty good. How did you do it? Yeah, and I guess the answer is I don't know. I put one foot in front of the other, and I knew I was doing the job I always wanted to do. And I have a tendency when I go forward with doing a job of trying to do my absolute best. So I did my best every day, putting one foot in front of the other to provide the best life I could for you guys. What was your favorite part about being a mom? You know, because obviously it was very hard and stressful, I'm guessing a lot, but it was also probably a very beautiful experience. Yeah, yeah. I, I. I honestly can't say, you know, except for having um, some adolescent issues, I never really thought it was hard and stressful. Um, it, I just, it was my job. And like, even in a two parent family where you're both committed to being a parent, it's no different when there's one parent and you're committed to being a parent. And so that was what I wanted to do. And, and it was fine. I, I can remember, Maybe getting a little stressed out when I used to take the four of you into a store and you'd all go off in different directions. <laughs> um, or you'd start clowning around underneath the racks. And Do you have advice for other moms out there or single moms? Mm -hmm. I, it would be the same advice as I'd have to any mom is to that, you know, it, you're never going to regret putting in everything that you've got to your kids. And then when those kids are grown and gone, you have the rest of your life um, to do whatever it is you want. So just just spend the time being a parent. It's okay. Yeah. Did you always want to be a mom? Was that when you were a little girl, when you were a teenager, is that something you wanted to do when you were older? I, th I think in my age group, that probably was, you know, what we were conditioned for was to be a parent. But I think I... I wanted it in addition because I didn't grow up with a big family and I did in fact want to create the family that I didn't think I had um, because we moved around a lot and so I didn't have a large extended family and then even with you guys you don't have any cousins um, 
And so it was like, okay, well, then all you've got is each other, so we're going to have a bunch of you. Yeah. You know, and we didn't have a lot of money. We didn't go on vacations. We didn't have expensive toys. We didn't get cars at 16 like all of our friends. But what we always did have was, were the important things. And, you know, the number one thing that doesn't cost money is, is love. You know, one of the most important things for me, and I think we did it even though they weren't gourmet, is we sat down and ate together. Um, and that was really important to me that we would spend that time. Logan, Ethan, and Sarah are all parents of their own. And so what's it like to be a grandma? Yeah, being a grandma is the best. I mean, I really, really am enjoying that, except I'm not enjoying it so much during this pandemic because <laughs> I can't snuggle with all those kids. But yeah, it's, it's, I never get over loving little babies. Yeah. Um, that's just, that, that was part of it is I just wanted another baby. <laughs> I loved having babies. I could have sat around and held babies all day long. Uh. Well, I'm very sorry that I have not provided you with a baby. <laughs> I haven't given up hope. So <laughs> yeah, no, it could happen someday. But uh, yeah. at least, at least I'm you have hoping. lots of other grandkids that are providing for you. Yeah, I'm hoping for your sake. I'm hoping that you you have a little one someday. I think you'd be a good dad because yeah. all the rest of the kids have been excellent parents. It's been wonderful to watch. Nice. Well. I appreciate you chatting with me for a second here. I'm going to stop by tomorrow. We can have a little social distance Mother's Day celebration. And okay. uh, I love you so much. And now, my friends, it is time for the super duper Mother's Day Mega Mix. I put out a call on social media for all of you to send me short video tributes to your mothers. And boy, did you answer the call? I got videos from all over the world and they are incredibly heartwarming. And the filmmaker in me usually edits footage down to tighten it up, but I'm not going to edit any of this because you just can't edit down mom love. That would just be completely wrong. So I'm not going to do it. This is going to make you feel good. This is going to hit your heart in all the right places. Mothers, I love you. This is the picture that I have with my mom. Happy Mother's Day to my mom, Valerie. That's a picture of her on her 80th birthday a few years ago. Here's a picture of my mom, Ruth. Happy Mother's Day, mom. Beautiful, check her out front and center. This is my beautiful mama, Tina Brown. This is my mom. My mom, Denise here. This is my favorite picture of my mom. And right here is my mom right in the middle. This is my mom. And I love her because she is kind and courageous. The lovely lady in the red shirt is my mom. My mom is special to me because she is hardworking, she is adventurous, and she is such a good listener. She has this ability to know when I'm down and what to do about it so much of the time, and I'm so grateful to have her in my life because there is so much I can learn from her. She is one of the strongest people I know. She has been through so much, and she still, to this day, knows how to put everybody else's needs before her own and she's just so loving and so caring and she's just amazing. I don't know what I would do without her. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day, Day Mom, Mom and Mimi. We love you. Happy birthday to my mum for always being there when times are bad and times are good. Happy Mother's Day Mum. I don't know anybody who has embodied and symbolized love my whole life um, the way that my mom has. She is generous she is honest, she is kind. This is our beautiful mother, Rosemary. She became our angel 11 months ago. Mom showed us unconditional love for family, for our children, and mom had unconditional love for her grandchildren. We miss you, mom. This woman is my number one hero. And conveniently, she's also my mom, which means I can call her up for advice anytime I want. Max, what's something you love about your mama? That she cleans up for <laughs> us. This is a photo of my mom in 1992, crossing the New York City Marathon in under four hours. She worked her butt off for that, and she's amazing. I wasn't born at the time yet, but still proud of her for that. My mom. I love her with all of my heart. Her cooking is the best in the world, hands down. And she is absolutely the best cheerleader you could ever hope to have behind you. I love you, Mom, with all my heart. 
And I am the man I am today because of all you've done for me. Love you, Mom. Thank you so much for all you do and for all the support you've given me all these years. I know we can't be together, but I'm always with you in spirit. And she works at the hospital endlessly almost every day. So to her and all the moms out there, I just want to say Happy Mother's Day and thank you for all you do. Happy Mother's Day, Mama Duza and Mom. But Jan isn't my hero because she's perfect or has led a charmed life. I don't want to be a geologist. We've taken very different life paths, but the way that she shows up for life, the energy that she brings, the joy, the creativity, the curiosity, the honesty, the integrity, woman is ferocious like a bear. That is something I always have and will and do aspire to. And also, if I can have her six pack when I'm 70, hills yeah. Jason, what's one thing you love about mama? That she, um, like, Makes us every meal sometimes. She makes you feel really good. Yeah. And I'm really gonna smack you. <laughs> I don't wanna see the only if you can you know how they blur out nipples and asses on TV? <laughs> what are you talking you about? You can you can show this only if you blur out my face. You look great. Yeah, right. Hello from Japan. My mother taught me the importance of learning English. Happy Mother's Day! Happy Mother's Day to my mom, Connie Severson, in Madison, Wisconsin. Mom always let me be me, and I really appreciate her for that. I love her very much. She taught me many lessons through life, and one of the most important lessons she taught me is that laughter is the best medicine. Once she starts laughing, she has a really hard time stopping. So it usually ends in snorting at the dinner table and my sisters and brother and I with napkins over our head in embarrassment and laughter and it's just the best. We love you and miss you, mama. See you soon. As I was growing older and maturing, um, there was an actual day when I woke up and I was like, holy crap, my mom was right about so much stuff. And then I had to admit that to her. And then I became a mom, and I realized just how much of a badass my mom really is. So, happy Mother's Day, Mom. Love you. Hey, happy Mother's Day and happy birthday to my mom, who taught my brothers and I that Mertz's never, ever, ever give up. She is the best. She's funny. She's caring. She's beautiful. Check her out front and center. Uh, and she gave birth to me. I was freaking huge. I was nine pounds, six ounces. So... Thank you, mom. I love you. Happy Mother's Day. This is a picture of me and my wife and my mom who had just officiated our wedding. We're about to plunge into some cold water and my mom is standing in it, supporting us. That about sums up my relationship with her. She's always supported me no matter what I'm doing and no matter how I'm doing it. I love you. Thank you for everything you do. Mommy, happy Mother's Day. My mom is a phenomenal woman. I'm a lucky kid. She's uh, selfless, caring, driven, empathetic, and, and always there. My mom, Noreen, and me, loving, caring, family-supported, breast cancer survivor and widow, wonderful woman. Here's a pic of my mama. She was tiny, mighty, and an amazing nurse. She's the one that taught me how to ride a bike 50 years ago, and I've uh, been riding ever since. And the strongest, person I've ever met and she's full of love and uh, she's like she's the best. There she is with her grandsons Conrad and Wesley. Mom's always been one to tell me and my sisters that we could be anything we wanted we're in this sisters. life. No we're not sisters. She also taught me to be a nature lover so that's why I captured this at sunset in California. She gave me this picture nine months ago when I moved from Brazil to the United States and this one's so special because she wrote this message at the back it's written in portuguese but basically it says um i'll miss you a lot be happy and i love you always mom she's an awesome person she's super supportive of course i love her a lot uh, we're not together for this mother's day but hopefully we'll be together for christmas and i'll be able to hug her like this again I love how mom's always there for me, no matter what. She's always going to be there to back me up, every time. I love how my mom really gave me life, and yeah, pretty much. She gave you life. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. Well, there's mom right there. This is her. 
She is beautiful inside and out. She's kind. She's compassionate. Her smile lights up the room. She's the best dancer. She taught me so much about uh, the importance of helping others. And my sister and I and my father are so grateful to have her in our lives. And I'm so grateful that she's my mother. Okay, thank you, Ryan. Wow, didn't that feel good? It felt really good for me to put all those clips together. It was like a big virtual hug. And I needed that because I haven't hugged my mom in over two months since this whole pandemic started. And I'm guessing there's a lot of very similar stories out there. And I wanna thank you all so much for taking the time to send in those clips and share your stories with me and with the world. I feel like this channel is becoming a family. I feel like I know a lot of you better and better every day and that's how it should be. And I'm really proud of this community. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to all of the moms around the world and to the dads. I got love for the dads as well, of course. Like and subscribe, do all those fun things you do. And if you have the ability, give your mom a big hug. I can't wait till I get to do that again. Happy Mother's Day.